in this video we'll be looking into the important questions of uh, occupational health and safety engineering practice of subject 421 cv653 so one thing osha being one of the easiest subjects among open electives it has a standard set of questions which are repeated every year so make sure you cover these questions whichever are, are noted down first so cover these topics first and then you can look, look into the other topics so i have formulated these questions by comparing the previous year papers and the internal papers okay let's move on to the topics one by one in the first module first topic we have circumstances that lead to development of osha vision and vision of osha so this is a must question so this will be asked so moving on next we have national safety policy what are its goals and objectives again important topic next we have is important laws and legislations in india for safety and health not just these four there are uh, nearly eight or ten laws so make sure you write make sure you know about these laws properly so what was the three conditions before these law came, came into existence and how did the, these law bring relief to the people working in those industries so you should know about these two things and you have to elaborate properly next we have is apply the dominoes theory of accident caution in identifying of an accident so this is either this could be asked or the peterson's accident theory could be asked so these two are again important questions next we have concepts of osha and accident invest investigation the these four step process then here what is the role of supervisor in investigation team again this is also important Topic. Then what are the OSHA guidelines on hazard analysis and prevention? So again, this is you can write it in general also. One thing, guys. Firstly, I would suggest you to go through the notes which ever are published in the G drive. So it is like proper and concise for you to study for the subject. If you happen to forget any of the topic in the exam, if you are not able to write it properly or remember, just you know what are the guidelines on hazard analysis, how to prevent hazard and all. So it's basic general knowledge you can just fill anything okay but it has to be relevant to hazard prevention okay? make sure uh, you are able to fill the pages and underline of course then moving on to the second module we have ergonomics I write a note on its benefits uh, explain about uh, ergonomic task analysis this could be a separate question also 10 mark question about ergonomic task analysis what are the factors affecting workplace ergonomics so all these questions are uh, important so i have noted down in uh, one set of questions first question okay. next analyze the feasibility of human error analysis and quality analysis these two topics are again huge topics so make sure you study them properly and uh, the flow chart and the diagrams which are there so you know it properly okay and then moving on to next question we have how do we prevent ergonomic hazard so this is again it could be clubbed with the first question only again a 10 mark question then we have explained the process of emergency response plan and detection uh, decision for action so this is again important emergency response plan so this is an important question then enumerate osha's ergonomic guidelines for an organization so, so this is again an important question so i have noted down nearly six to seven questions for each module which have, which comprise of all the important topics in this module okay so if you have if you have covered these questions you'll be thorough with the uh, possible questions from these modules after this you can look into the other topics also but for these, you should be perfect with the answers. Moving on to the third module. First standard question is about fire. Okay. So they can ask the definition of fire, classification of fires with a diagram and fire triangle diagram they can ask. Then write a note on identification of fire and fire development and its severity with a growth phase graph. So again, graph, you have to draw and ask it. So this was asked for 10 marks in internal. So make sure you study this thoroughly. Next important we have is five types of fire extinguisher again guys it is a pretty standard question and if you are uh, opting to write this answer make sure you know about each and every fire extinguisher properly because you can't write quick that all the specifications what is it composed of the diagram and labeling should be done properly okay next moving on further safety measures to be taken for electric force so again in third module we have two topics either it could be uh, it, either it is fire or it is electric so what are the electrical hazards firstly and what are safety measures to be taken for, uh, for electrical work secondly so these two you can cover for electric then we have product safety give technical requirement for, for product safety again uh, general you can write it moving on to fourth and fifth module i club these two because again there were standard questions so make sure you cover the all these properly firstly we have various uh, modes of transmission of diseases at workplace how do we prevent them then we have note on health emergency at workplace then explain OSHA consideration. Firstly, uh, for these construction site, chemical industry, RMC plants, and cement industry, firstly, you need to write the uh, what is the scenario there. Firstly, then 
what are the hazards possible hazards from those industries and then you can come up with osha consideration how to overcome those hazards or uh, provide protection and all then we have advantages and uh, what are the advantages types of ppes personal protective equipment then we have what is environment management plan this is important question guys make sure you cover this properly illustrate the process to maintain safety and sustainability at work place then we have safety considerations to be followed at water treatment plant and solid waste treatment plant so again as i told for the above part what is the scenario there what are the possible threats possible hazards and how do you provide safety there at the very bit next seventh question we have a note on special hazards as a result of work environment so again this is also important topic then we have what is the role and responsibility of workers managers supervisors in occupational safety and health hazard so make sure you cover all these topics properly i have uploaded the module wise notes and uh, internal question paper and the so you can go through the g drive available in the description it has all the notes right from the first module second module third module fourth module and fifth module so these notes are uh, pretty sufficient enough for you to prepare for the exam it has all the important concepts explained in pretty simpler terms so make sure you refer these notes and study properly if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments guys um stay tuned thank you